I wish I could squeeze you so hard I'd never have to let you go. You know what I wish? I wish you were dead. Daddy! Daddy! Oh, sweetheart. You got your wish. Well, there's <laughs> told me that if I told her my bad dreams, I could let go of them, and uh, as I remember, that used to work pretty well. Well, I don't remember most of it. I mean, uh, I, uh, I mean, I was myself, but I was a little girl, and, uh, I was, uh, I, I wanted, to. Uh, This is what you dreamt. It's not what you wanted. I wanted my mother dead. I wanted to kill her. Well, you were angry. You are angry. There's nothing wrong with having a dream like that. Maybe it's not just a dream. What do you mean? Of course it's a dream. Maybe it's what Lisa's thinking. Maybe it's what Lisa wants. How can you say that? The only way I know what she's thinking is by what I'm dreaming. And she's dreaming that she wants my mother dead. But you said yourself you were a little girl in the dream and kids think things like that. You know, I wish she were dead, but they don't mean it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. See, I, I have somebody else inside of me that I didn't even know about. I mean, look at the things that I've done. She, she stole things, but she never hurt anyone. And as long as she's a part of you, she's not going to, especially not me. Mm -hmm. I don't know about anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at all the time, all the blank time that I had. I, I mean, I feel... Eden, Eden, please, Eden, don't, 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 I, uh, I stood in the doorway of Adriana's bedroom and I listened to her breathe. And I thought that I 
I've never heard more beautiful music in one time. Chippy was in bed and he had his leg out from the, under the covers, you know, you sleep. And I thought about all the times that you saved me and you protected me. And I don't know what I would do if I lost you. I really don't want to lose my family. You're not going to lose me. You're not going to lose your family. I swear to God, I would never let that happen. Okay. I do love you. I love you too. And we're going to get past this. It's Say goodbye. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. We're in big trouble here. I told you what would happen if you talked to one of those doctors. I'm going to get help. Everything's going to be okay. I'm sorry, but I'm taking over. I have no choice anymore. I have things to do. Very important things to do. what we can do about making dreams come true.
is it? Beautiful. I guess I scared you, didn't I? Well, you were pretty upset before, so... Mm. Who knows what I might do? Guess I should have left you a note. Yeah, why don't you tell me what is uh, going on with you right now? How are you, how are you feeling? Fine. I'm sorry if I upset you. I really am doing much better. Really? Think you heard even? I heard something. Everything looks fine. It wasn't very long. I mean, that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it is. We'll talk to Dr. Fox with the end. Maybe she'll know why. Know why it happened. Yeah? Chris, hi, it's me. Is Eden there? Sure, just a second. No, wait, I don't want to talk to her. I want to talk to you. Uh, I need to know, uh, where she was. Something wrong? Yeah. W was she there with you all night? Uh, well, not, not exactly. Um. Oh. Oh, God. No, it's okay. No, I'll let you talk privately. I'll wait for Dr. Bucks for you downstairs. I'll be right down. Is she there with you now? Yeah. W what is this? What's wrong? Tiara. I found it here in the study. She wasn't with you the whole time, was she? No, she, uh, she went out for a while. She told me she was watching the surf, but I had a feeling that, uh, she wasn't herself. It's Lisa. It's Lisa who did this. All right, this 
Sophia, Dr. Foxworthy is on her way over, but I don't want to leave her alone until no, she... No, I don't want you to. But, but, go, go stay with her. Take care of her. Please take care of her. Better take care of yourself. Yes. Augusta, it's Eden. I'm sorry to be calling so early. That's all right. I've been up for hours. I'm afraid I have one more favor to ask. I'm going to be needing the yacht a little earlier than usual. I, I was wondering, uh, could you um, be able to move it a little earlier? Uh, I'm not sure about that, Eden. Would it be all right if we just sent the yacht that Lionel's trying to sell? Uh, using this one is so inconvenient for me. I need the yacht. They look quite similar to my eye. The one we're selling is a little older, but it's acceptable. It's too old, too. All right, um, I'm sorry. I was up all night with um, Adriana, and I didn't mean to snap at you. Is she all right? Oh, yes, just sniffles. <laughs> uh, listen, oh, thank you for speeding things up for me. That's all right, I'll try. Uh, would 11.30 be all right? Oh, I'm sure it would be lovely. Thanks very much. Who was that? Uh, Barbara Funk with the children's book drive. I didn't hear the phone ring. <sighs> you had your shower? If Dr. Foxworthy's coming Well, that's, that's okay. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't mind if I'm in my robe. Cruz, please, you can't watch over me. It would really help if we could pretend like things were normal. We just can't sit back and wait for Lisa to pop out, can we? No, I suppose not. Um, I'll take my shower. You're not going to go anywhere, are you? Thanks for understanding. I'm going to check on the kids. Baby, are you okay? I'm sorry if I scared you. I'm fine. Cruz is with me. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. Huh? Um, I need your help. Any? You see, I talked to Augusta, and she's going to let me borrow the lockage out, you know, the one that Lionel's going to sell. And I was wondering if you might be able to meet me at Slip 202 at the marina. Do you really think that this is my Now that I know what's wrong with me, I think it's important to deal with the memories. Uh, what is Dr. Fox with? Please, Mama. Please? Would you please do this for me? Sure, Will. Anything you say. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Sophia, if you are thinking of meeting her on that damn yacht, forget about it. Let the doctor handle it. I can't say no to her. You don't even know who you were saying no to. It could have been Lisa on that phone. Well, what difference does it make? Because after all, Lisa is my daughter. There you are. Uh, Dr. Foxworthy just came. Um, I told her that I was going to leave you alone for a few minutes. Maybe I'd like to ask her if she wants to take some orange juice. I'll be back. Hi. Thank you for coming. 
Eden just told me that she thought Lisa may have emerged this morning. Did you tell her you thought so? Yeah, I know you advised against it, but she asked me when I went up there, and I, uh, I told her I thought so. Um, and then her mother called, and Eden went over there. Lisa went over there this morning, and well, the tiara that Lisa stole from Sophia was found there today in the Capwell study in the drawer in the desk. Well, it seems Lisa has something in mind. Yeah, you know, I think maybe we should go over there to that room. That's that's the particular room where Channing. Uh, that's Eden's brother. He was killed there, and the gun was kept there, and then the gun has since disappeared and reappeared several times, and now the tiara, there's obviously some connection to that room. Well, I think it could help. Eden's particularly sensitive to locations. She remembered so much on the yacht. Yeah. If Lisa wanted that tiara in the room, then maybe Eden can help figure out why. Yeah. Everybody's fine. Did you two get a chance to talk? Uh, yeah. Denise and I were wondering if uh, you would like to go over to your folks' house with us. Why? If you'd rather not, you don't have to. No. Uh, it's all right. I just don't know why. Well, it's an environment that might have a special meaning to Lisa. All right. You sure? Well, if I'm going to be with you, I'll be fine. Cruz, did you tell Eden what happened this morning? Um. What? I found a tiara in the desk drawer. What? Eden, did you do it? No, of course not. Did you, Lisa? Don't use my name. You have no right to use my name. Did you put the tiara in the drawer? I wanted you to find it. Eden? I am not Eden. You want her back, though, don't you? Well, let me tell you something. You're not going to get her back. You're stuck with me. You want to know why? Because of all the hell you've put her through, hell you can only dream about. You see, Eden has a little problem. She doesn't know how to deal with the hell that you've put her through. I do. And I am going to make you pay. Happy anniversary, Mother. 